it's Jan from Jan Does Reviews, and today we're going to do my Blitz Glam Box unbagging. And this is a $17.99 a month subscription. Um, you do usually receive four, sometimes, very sometimes, I've only done it once, um, receive five items. Um, it does include sales tax and shipping and the cost. And you always receive a pair of false lashes and some sort of glitter item. So, now that's all out of the way, let's open it up. Okay. And there is the little card. I'm still in here. Okay. This month's theme is Celestial Moon, and it has a list of everything in there with prices and a brief description of the item. Um, and it's got a thing on here, which is odd to be receiving in January because it says prepay, free palette when you prepay in 2020, oh, 2021. I miss, I thought it said 2020. I was like, mm, too late. Might be doing that. I don't know. Um, when you prepay in 2021, three up to 12 month prepay options, free palette will be included in your upcoming box. Customer service will reach out so you can pick your palette. So if any of you all are interested in that, um, it looks like it's a, a lot of the previous palettes that they have sent. Um, in 2020 that are options. Um, let's get everything out here. It's always packaged in pretty glitter tissue paper with um, a little sticker there with the logo. And I have never received a broken product from them. They, they tend to package things very, very well, as you can see. Um, this is the palette that you get this month. Um, I have gotten a palette in every single box but it's not always, you know, um, this one is a blush palette. Sometimes it's an eyeshadow. Sometimes it's a complete fa uh, face. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, but today's is from Moon Slice Beauty. And this is out of California. Um, this is their Blushing Moon Palette. Um, it says four universal blushes, two mattes, and two shimmers. And, um, of course, I have already opened this once to double check that everything did arrive unbroken. Um, it's got a mirror, cardboard packaging, so, and it does feel like it's a, a glass mirror rather than a plastic or a piece of foil. I'm not that particular. I don't use, um, the mirrors and palettes often. I, um, usually... We use a handheld mirror or um, my vanity mirror. So, um, but here, here are the shades. There are no shade names, which you know, I'm not a fan of. But we will try these out today. And then, oh, I'm sorry. This palette is valued at $20. Um, I said it's from LA, but it is made in the People's Republic of China. Just for those that care. I don't personally. Um, next, Lavender Stardust, and I like that they put it, in case it leaked, it is in a little Ziploc bag, so it won't damage anything else in, um, your bag, so, you know, it's just, it's this thoughtful touch that a lot of companies don't do, so, um, it's just very much appreciated. Lavender Stardust Glitter Lip Gloss, and mine is in... So we can get it to focus. Come on. Back up a little bit. Rose. And this is valued at seven dollars. Um, glitter lip gloss. Don't forget to taste and smell your pretty pout. It looks like it's a roller ball. Yes, yes, it is. I don't smell anything initially, but 
it is dry. So we'll try this out in a minute too. Um, next up, we have Do Color Makeup. This large box. And this is a large fan brush. This is valued at $9.99. My trusty tweezers here to rip the plastic open. Um, I left my pen knife in the other room, of course. Yeah. I never have the, the tools that would actually be useful, handy when I'm doing a video. Let's see. It says it's the fantasy set. Um, on the card, it says, paint your cheeks in style. Synthetic super soft fan brush is perfect for shimmer blush application. And then on the back of the box, it says, this do color fantasy set collection, shade of high density high density pastel pink synthetic hair with beautiful glistening rainbow handle totally fancy and beautiful created for all genders how to use yeah this large fan shaped head is ideal for sweeping a light dusting of powder or pigment also great for building and blending makeup directly on your face model db08 um, email office address. Yeah. Um, this is a, a Chinese company and, um, it's manufactured in China and I'm not even going to try and pronounce the, the province where it's made. It's, you, we know I, I don't speak a foreign language at all. I do well to speak English. Alrighty. There it is. I, while this is soft, um, and the handle is beautiful, it looks, um, very much like this one that I already have, which I rarely use, so I doubt I will use this much. It is pretty, and I will put it out, of course, to display. Um, did I say this is valued at $9.99? Uh, let's see what the little insert here says. I do like do color brushes. And I think last month, maybe we had a makeup item from them. Oh, yeah. How to clean makeup brushes. Brush, brushes, care tips. Okay. Yeah. Nothing that I absolutely need. So. We'll set that to the side. And then last but not least, we have uh, the Glitz Glam Box. Um, they make their own lashes. And this is their never, oops, excuse me, <laughs> never basic lashes. I'll open it up where you can fully see them. And this is in the style Twinkle Twinkle. These are valued at $12. Um, never basic star lashes. <clears throat> now, star is not on the box anywhere except for the cutouts. But anyway, Never Basic Star Lashes are the perfect finishing touch to any glitz glam look. Faux mink reusable up to 20 times. And get these out where you can take a look and see how very dramatic they are. Yes, yes, they are. Um, they are really pretty. They are in the style that I like. Um, they would probably need to be trimmed down to fit my eyes. Um, most lashes I have to take, generally, um, I have to take the, the last little segment of hair there and clip it off, you know, right there, up against the next little segment of hair. Although these, I noticed, you can see, maybe you can see a little better on this one. The inner corners, sorry, my nails are total crap right now. Um, the lash, where the lashes are adhered, you know, the little, um, oh gosh, wait, words are failing me again. Um, 
the line <clears throat> there, the little plastic bit that's the actual, um, what you glue to your eyelash line. If you can see there, it sticks out further than the false lashes, which is unusual. So I may have to trim that off as well. Um, just so you can see, I'm not actually going to glue them on, but I will set them on top of my lashes so you get kind of the um, effect of it without me actually going to the trouble of trimming and um, gluing. So I won't try these out today, but I'm sure I will use them. <sighs> okay. On with the show. Now, let's try on. Um, well, like I said, I'm not going to try off the lashes. I guess I'll use the fan brush. Maybe. I don't know. Um, it says it's two mattes and two shimmers. They all appear matte in the palette. So I don't know, you know, how some, um, when they're pressed in, they take on a matte finish until you actually rub your finger across. So I guess I'm going to do that real quick and see if I can detect which ones are shimmer and which ones are matte. What the heck? I don't usually do this, but um, there are the swatches of the colors. I didn't do a very good job of swatching. <laughs> and I still don't detect shimmer in the swatches or the pans. Let's get... All right. Um, from the swatches though, I think I'm going to use the fan brush here and use this kind of, um, looks more peach on camera, but it's, it's a, a peachy pink rather than a straight up peach like this bottom one. So we'll just take a little bit of that and I don't know how pigmented this stuff will be. So we will just... Yeah, I'm not a fan of the brush. It's not my favorite style, but I'm gonna keep persevering here and hope. Okay, I see a little color that time. In the centers, let me go. Okay, definitely tap off. All right, I'm gonna go down the nose. Cross the forehead very lightly with anything that's left over just so I look and it is powdery I will tell you that but they are very pigmented so always um, tap off any excess before you apply it to your face it's always easier to build it up than to take it off and start all over from scratch um, the colors are very bright um, it's something I'll keep, but I don't know that I'll use it a lot. We will see. And now let's try this um, Lavender Rosé Lip Gloss. The name of the company is Lavender. Um, Lavender Stardust. Bizarre name, but that's okay. And let's just get the ball rolling. And I'm not sure if this is going to be actual. It doesn't look like it has bits of glitter in it. I think it'll be more of a shimmer, if anything. It does. It's not a rose as in a typical, um, like a flower. It is a rosé, like a um, blush wine. It's a little oily, but not bad. It is sheer, of course. Um, the pink cast of it doesn't um, come off on the lips at all. So 
for $17.99. It's, it's, you know, not bad. Um, my actual bag this month, the total of all four items was $48.99. However, I'm not a fan of the brush just because um, fan brushes, if I use them, it's because I want a very light dusting of highlight or powder. So I don't use them often, but it is pretty. I really like it. It'll look beautiful on my dresser. So I will be displaying it, but I'm not going to actually use it. Um, and the other thing I don't see a lot of use out of is this blush palette. Um, out of all the colors, I am most attracted to this pink. But when I swatched it, going in with just one little finger swip, yeah, that's that's terribly bright. I don't know that I can do that. So um, that is also going to be something I'll keep, but I don't see myself using a lot of. What I do see myself using a lot of and enjoying will be the lashes once I have them trimmed. Um, and... I like this gloss. This is easy. Throw it in your pocket. It's a roller ball. You don't have to worry about squishiness. You know, it's good. I like roller balls. Um, so I see myself using these two items more than the other two, which gives me a personal value of $19. These are 12 and this is seven. So, you know, um, $17.99, I still got my money's worth just for those two items. So, not bad. I'm not going to complain. This is one of my favorite subscriptions. Um, you do get a lot of indie brand makeup, such as Moon Slice, um, Rude Cosmetics. Um, I'm trying to remember. Dew Color comes in a lot, even though I don't know if you'd call them indie. Um, depends on how you look at makeup. But they're not a traditional indie um, style and they usually they make more tools than actual makeup um, and the glitz glam lashes you know they're they're good quality um, I haven't ruined a pair yet so you know and I'm pretty rough I'm not as gentle as I probably could be so stay tuned um, my ipsy glam bag should be the next one coming up um, I think they said pending delivery date was for Saturday, so you might see a video this weekend. Um, give a comment, maybe like, share me with a friend, subscribe if you haven't already. You know, I'd appreciate it. Um, I am going to, well, okay. I'm just not finding much enthusiasm and passion for doing my um, year end out of all the things that I've received in a box, subscription box over the year. Um, you know, what actually stayed a favorite and what, you know, I forgot about after a, a month or two. So um, I did one of those um, January of 2020, but I just, like I said, I can't find the the enthusiasm to even contemplate doing that video. Uh, I did do, just out of curiosity, I watched an inventory video. I can't remember who it was, but um, they counted up and, yes I do, it was Lauren, Lauren May Beauty. Um, she counted up all of her makeup items and did inventory and then broke it down, you know, group by group. And I, I don't think I'm gonna do a video on it, but if you go to, my Instagram account, um, I think for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to um, take a photo of each category and what my total, and this is just for everything that I owned at the end of 2020. Um, so anything that I've gotten, you know, this month won't be included. It'll be, you know, it'll be a total at the end of 2020. And I think it would be interesting, you know, to have a record of that. Um, not just on paper that can be lost or thrown away, but um, recorded. So it'll be, you know, in my Instagram where I can go through to the end of 2021 and compare and see, you know, um, is it practical to keep this much stuff? Uh, can I rotate through it before it expires? 
you know, that kind of thing. So I've got a whole jar of empties. Well, it's not a jar. It's a, it's a bowl. It's a glass bowl where I put my empties. And I've got, it's almost chock full of mostly mascaras and um, brow products because I do go through those probably faster than anything else that I own. Um, and I don't have as many items in that. Um, surprisingly, I thought I would have more eyeshadow type things because I really do love eyeshadows. And um, that was not the largest category in my makeup inventory. So um, if you wouldn't mind, go over to my Instagram account. It's the same name. Jan does reviews. You know you want to. And um, like I said, it'll just be a, a quick little post that I'm going to do every day um, starting Monday. Monday the 18th. And I'm just going to um, quickly just put up a quick little post with, you know, how many items, what that category is. And then when I get to the end, you know, of that, it'll probably be I don't know how many different categories I have, but I imagine it'll be, you know, <clears throat> somewhere in a three week range. But at the end, I will put um, the complete total of everything together as my, my wrap up. So um, if you all have any ideas for videos that you'd like me to do, leave a comment, tell me um, any questions you have about any of these things, because I will continue using them through the month. And then at the end of the month, I didn't do one for December because I just, I couldn't make myself give two craps. So sorry about that. But um, at the end of the month, I'll do a, did I actually use it video and let you know my final thoughts since these are, you know, first impressions. And I keep, you know, everything that I get in a subscription box, I keep it in um, a separate little bin, little um, plastic bins that I have. And I keep them separate so I can remember when I'm looking for my makeup to put on for the day to look through that first and make sure, you know, that I give it a fair opportunity instead of, you know, piling it all in the drawer with everything else that I own and it possibly getting lost in the shuffle so um, I can give you better formed full thoughts on how everything works. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, like lip glosses, you may have had something else on your lips already and forgotten about it. And the next day you don't, you just put it straight on to try and it works great. Whereas the day before it didn't because you forgot you already had a lip treatment on or you did a lip mask or, you know, maybe you put lip liner on for some color and then you went over it with this lip gloss trying to give it some shine and the consistency of the two was gummy or sticky or, you know, there's all kinds of things that can make you change your mind on different things. So, um, like I said, I will give more fully formed thoughts on everything that I got today at the end of the month and, um, be looking for my other videos. I am still receiving what's glam bo uh, box, even though it's in a bag. They really irritate me with that. <laughs> Ipsy glam bag plus, um, starting in February. I will get um, the Glam Bag X instead of the Glam Bag Plus, I think is the way it's working. Uh-oh. Insulin pump. I'm out of insulin. Got to change my, my pump. Um, anyway, um, I'm still getting BoxyCharm for the moment. Um, I'm probably going to give that this month and next month, and if it's not any better, then I'm probably going to cancel it and look for something else. Um, and then I am still receiving um, the box by Fashion Stall. So that one comes up towards the end of the month. I didn't do a December slash January. It came on um, Christmas Eve. And then I just, I never did. But if you're curious about the contents of that, go over to Instagram. Um, I did post pictures and a brief description of everything, its price and what it is exactly. Um, and I, uh, like I said, I posted that to my Instagram account. Um, so that will be, you know, at the end of this month because it does come so late in the month. I don't really, you know, a week isn't really fair when I've had the other boxes, you know, two to three weeks. So, I just figure, you know, since it comes late in the month, 
December's will be included with January. January's be included with February. You get the drift. So uh, that's how that plan is. Um, otherwise, that's it. I want you all to stay safe and stay healthy. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.